I suspect an introduction to linked list probably isn't necessary given the ease with which uh, you can approach the site. It gives you all the instructions on the page and tells you how it works. But let's go for it anyway. We'll just close that so we've got a little bit more space to work in. Okay, if we look up here we can see that I've already gathered together a number of different pages on the topic of volcanoes and I want to share them with the Year 8 group. So if we look, let's just scroll down the page a bit it tells you what to do. Create a new link list and give it a title. So uh, let's call it Y8 Volcanoes uh, and then we can add a description, that's some extra information. Um, uh, it can be a little bit more descriptive than this but um, that'll do just to get us going. Uh, and then we scroll down a little bit further and it says uh, your first link so we can either just paste in one of these URLs from up here but since we've got more let's add several at once because that will make it a little bit more efficient so we click on that and it tells us what to do separate the links with a blank space or new line uh, so we go to the first one copy it go back to link list make sure we don't get too lots of HTTP and there we go, that's the first one, and then press return for a new line. Repeat for the next one, copy, back to link list and paste, press return for a new line, third one, copy, paste, and the final one. You can obviously put in more than this if you need more than this. And there we go. And then take a look at the settings. This is a publicly shared list. Now, unless you've got a specific reason not to, then it's always good to make it available for others to use. Um, an ordered list, that will means it will put it in a specific order for you. Or This one's really useful because if we tick that, that means that our students could add information to this in the future, provided you trust them to be able to do so responsibly. And then click Save. and it's sorting it all out for us there we go and there they're all ready to go and in order to pass that on to our, um, and to our group we simply look at up here that's a specific URL just for this particular topic and this particular set of links so you can see how it all works that was there's the title there's the description that we put in and here are the links. Click on each one and it takes you to the particular pages that we had. Um, and of course, if you need to come back to that in the future, just save that URL. But better still, create yourself an account and, and join it and then you can edit it and change any of the settings later on if you need to do so.